Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Ninja Trader Ecosystem Webinar Room. My name is Juanita Archuleta, and I work for the Ninja Trader Ecosystem here in our Denver office. We have a very special event for you today with Zach and Jeremy of Shark Indicators. I would like to mention it is important to understand that there are, there are specific circumstances surrounding trading stocks and commodity futures, and you should you should carefully consider whether such trading is suitable for you and will depend on your specific circumstances and financial resources. It is possible to lose all funds to pot deposited with your broker and could even incur losses beyond these amounts. Please inquire at the following link to find a full copy of the CFTC risk disclosure if you have any additional questions. This presentation is presented by NinjaTrader LLC, which is the software technology company responsible for developing and supporting the NinjaTrader trading software. Any brokerage-related questions should be sent directly to our brokerage team using the following email address or phone number. With new tools added nearly every day, NinjaTrader ecosystem is home to hundreds of apps and services. You can quickly and easily find tools or services you're looking for with a simple keyword search. You'll also find information about upcoming webinars in an on-demand video archive to view previous event recordings. If you are active on Twitter and Facebook, we do recommend that you follow us as we do do live updates daily. NinjaTrader is always free for advanced charting, strategy backtesting, and trade simulation. You, to ensure you are on the latest version, version of NinjaTrader and pick up a free live data trial, please use the following link. You're also welcome to lease or purchase NinjaTrader using the following link. And if you are just getting started with NinjaTrader, we do offer daily training um, webinars. You can view a schedule of the weekly webinars at the following link. We're very excited for this unique event in which Zach and Jeremy of Shark Indicators will show you how to discover the secrets of backtesting. Thank you again for your attendance. And without further ado, it is my pleasure to welcome to the NinjaTrader ecosystem webinar room, Zach and Jeremy. Go ahead and take Hi, thanks for uh, that, that kind introduction. It's, uh, it's been a very long time since we've been on, on a webinar with NinjaTrader. My name is Jeremy Tang and with me here today is Zach White. How are you doing, Zach? How are you guys? Sorry, I was just taking a sip of my coffee here, getting ready. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Trying to, uh, trying to relax. <laughs> no better time to get coffee. You know, I can't believe it's already, uh, it's already March. I can't believe this, this year is just flying by uh, for me. Um, and I think it's been what Zach about a year since we've been on a, the, the Ninja Trader uh, webinar circuit. Is that right? Um, at least, yeah. It feels like it's been a while, but well, time's flying. Yeah. Uh, well, we've been around around the block for a while, uh, and today's topic is going to be about back testing. Um, now, I can't really see the chat at the moment, but I wanted to ask you guys: uh, How many of you have actually tried? Uh, to do your own back testing in the past. Let's see if I can pull the chat back. Okay, here we go. Yeah, go ahead and just. Um, how many of you have, have uh, uh, haven't tried or haven't been able to back testing, even though you've wanted to? Okay, so we've got a we've got a handful of people that have done it before. Um, you know, uh, with with those of you that uh, that that have certainly tried, I'm sure you can attest. Um, especially if you, you you don't have any sort of uh, you know program or software to do it to help you do it properly, I wouldn't say properly. Sorry, I mean uh, automated. Uh, it's actually quite tedious. And what I'm talking about for those of you that never tried it before um, is is uh, if you, back testing usually involves if you don't have the software to do it uh, some sort of manual process, and that involves maybe creating your trade system. Of course, that's a given you, you need some sort of system to trade and then marking up your chart manually with the entry points and the exit points and then manually tabulating all the results and uh, going through and seeing what the profit or loss of what of each trade was and of course uh, i'm sure you can imagine even if you've never done it before i think we've got a couple people in there in the chat saying it's very tedious uh, and painful um i couldn't agree more uh and of course if you haven't done it you can probably imagine it's very time consuming. And the thing about backtesting too, is when you're, when you're sort of creating a, a trade system, right? You don't want to just do it once, backtest it, you know, sorry, you don't, it's, you're not just done after the first backtest. That's generally just one piece of the puzzle, one little step. Because usually what happens is when you're creating a trade system, you have to invent it 
then you've got to back test it. Then you've generally got to um, change it up or, you know, uh, tweak it a bit and then go back to the drawing board and, re, you know, redo it and test it again. And, and usually it's that cycle um, uh, that gets you to the point where you actually have a, a viable trade system. So you don't generally you don't just get it off, uh, you know, d just get it right the first time. And it, it very rarely happens and probably never happens to be honest. Um, and so you have to do a back testing step every single time. And if imagine it takes you several weeks or days, say to do uh, one iteration, it would take you a very long time uh, to arrive at a, a good tradable system. Um, so, I mean, really we're in a day and age of computers. We should be using computers to back test. This is the number crunching, the kind of stuff that uh, basically uh, uh, computers are good at and fast at. Um, so let me ask you, um, have you really thought, what does it take to, to use the computer to back test? What do you really need for that to happen? Just give it a, a thought because, you know, on the surface, it's like, it's <laughs> someone says a lot of time, absolutely. Uh, a data and a strategy, yes, yeah. But you're, that's kind of what I'm getting at. Um, really, actually, and someone's mentioning, and Matthew's mentioning you need to program it in. Uh, you need rules, absolutely, that you need rules. Um, well, if, if you really, if I want to articulate exactly what you need, you really need a full-blown auto trader, right? I mean, if you think about it, you got to tell the computer when you're going in, how you're managing that trade, and when the when are one of those exits going to you know move or whatever, and how those stop losses are coming off. So, really, when you think about it, that is a full blown auto trader. And uh, and I think I think it, you know it's easy to sort of just hand wave this and say, yeah, okay, that's no problem. You know, I could just back test a system, um, but building an auto trader itself is not trivial. Um, you know, unless you're a coder, uh, you, you're going to like, you're going to be hiring somebody to do it, or you're going to be learning how to use Ninja script, uh, to do, um, strategy development, which is a whole nother level, uh, than say indicator development. It's, uh, you're, you're in the realm of managing orders and that sort of thing. Um, where you have to manage things in real time. It's the complexity is much greater. Than, than, than when you first meet CI. And then basically, you know, at this point, you know, you, you'll be spending more time developing, uh, uh, being a software engineer than you are saying being a trader. And that's not necessarily the ideal, especially if, the, if your whole point in getting to trading was to make money in the first place and actually learn, uh, actually trade the markets, not, not be a developer, right? Um, so that's kind of where we come in. This is where our tools come in. And we've been doing this for a number of years, and we have a product. Uh, we have two products actually, called uh, one called Bloodhound, another called Blackbird. And what we're going to demonstrate here today is how to build an auto trader so that you can use that to back test. And we're going to do it in a really quick time, um, you know, within 15 minutes. We're going to build an auto trader from scratch, and show you and, and do some analysis and, and run through a back test. Okay, so to do that, we're going to need sort of a system example to go over. And, uh, you know, this is just, we're not condoning this particular system by any means. All we're, we're doing here is just finding an example, uh, just, just so we have something concrete to work from. Um, so this one, this particular system is from uh, Stocks and Commodities Magazine, which is also a great source. And they had a little issue in there with, with a, an indicator called the Rocket RSI, um, which is kind of an oscillating indicator. And we're going to use that today to generate some single signals. And we're going to throw it through an auto trader and, uh, and see what, what kind of results we can get. And this is, again, would be demonstrating the process that you would go through. Um, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to take this rocket RSI and we're going to, we're going to hit, get, those, get those points where it's hitting those extremes and, we're, and coming down from those extremes and coming, going up from those, those extremes and then going into long and short positions. I'll just bring up the chart here and uh, I think it'll be pretty evident. So yeah. on my screen here, yeah, go ahead. A little comment there, Jeremy. Uh, you said 15 minutes. Um, you know, I, I know I'm fast, but I don't think I'm quite that fast. So give us, so give us a little bit more than 15 minutes. <laughs> okay, let's say 20. Let's let's call it 20 minutes. 
just kidding. Um, you know, Zach, Zach is going to, obviously when he's going to show it and when I'm going to show it, we're going to step through and, and explain some things. So um, uh, that may slow us down, but don't hold us to the exact time. Uh, here we go. Okay. So this is, this is a product we have called Bloodhound and it basically helps us generate trade signals. And so on the chart here, I've got the rocket RSI and you can see at these points here, it has these extremes at 3.7 and above and minus 3.7 and below. And what we're gonna do is try to capture those points where, it's hit, where it hits these extremes and bounces away from them. So this would be a good, this in, according to this particular system, uh, we're gonna generate a long signal right here and then a short signal just right here, right after that extreme. And to do that, what we're gonna do here is just build it out. All right, so what I can do with uh, Bloodhound is I can integrate any kind of indicator that's on my system. The Rocket RSI, as I mentioned before, it's a custom indicator. Uh, and it was, it's not included with NinjaTrader, so we have to build it separately. And we can actually um, get it to show those points where, actually, you know what? Jumping ahead, but get, let's get it to show those points where the, uh, uh, we hit those extremes. Okay, so let's just build this out kind of step by step. Okay. And look at my chart. Basically, it is uh, it's updating as I'm typing it in. And you can see I've, I've actually displaced it one by one. There's, there's a good reason why I'm doing that. I'm, but uh, uh, essentially, um, let, me, let me go back just to illustrate real quick here. Okay. So what I've got here is I've got the, all the, the areas marked off where we're hitting those extremes. Okay. But the, what we're really interested in is actually the bar right after it right here, right after this extreme. And so what I need to do is actually shift all these bars off by one. That's why I'm going to displace these values here like that. Okay, so this will become, this will make more sense once I put in the, uh, the next little piece here. So I'm going to unplug that, that solver there. That's what we call them. And I hook this up to the rocket, rocket RSI again. All right. And if you notice here, this, this inflection solver just basically looks at those points where the, the RSI is bouncing or ch sort of changing slope here. So this is, this is a good one here. It's, it's, it's went from a kind of flat slope going down. This is a flat slope going up. These, are, those, these two are precisely where we want to find, uh, mark those entry points. These ones we don't care about, okay? We, we're sort of in the middle here and we're, we're changing slope from up to down. So we got to eliminate those. So actually what we're going to do here is take that original criteria that I had before and I'm going to slam them together like so. And voila, now we have our chart marked up properly. So whenever we're hitting those points and we're just, we're to the, the bar right after, we're turning around, we are generating a, an entry signal. So at this point, what I have is a, uh, uh, what, what I've got here now is a, is the signals. I'm going to pass it off to Zach, who's going to take it through the, uh, the trading portion, which is, a, a, it's an ninja trader strategy, strategy, uh, called Blackbird. So let me just save this off here. And we are going to make these available at the end of the presentation. And actually, all right, Zach, let me just yeah. uh, see if I can cancel right. my sharing here. Yeah, all the files that we save. So our our tools do save to files so that you can load up, so you can load your work up later on. Um, yeah, so, all right, let me, give me a moment here to share my screen. And uh, let's see, am I sharing my screen? Yep. Yeah, oh, it looks like it. Okay. Yeah, that's you. All right, cool. Okay, so um, yeah, so I, I have basically the same chart set up as you know what Jeremy just had here. So I've got the rocket RSI down below. Um, I already have Bloodhound on my chart um, with the signals. 
And actually, I had kind of given away a sneak peek there. Let me switch back. There we go. <laughs> so, all right. Yeah, so we have the original signals here. You know, so again, you know, if, we, if Jeremy went a little fast, you know, basically, you know, the, this stocks and commodities, you know, article, um, you know, what it explained is that when this rocket RSI indicator, when it hits, when it hits its maximum value here, we'll expand this out. Right, we can see that it's it, it has a maximum value of 3.7, right? So it peaks out. And when it's done peaking out and it starts reversing the other direction, you know, that's when, you know, that's your indication of getting in into a trade. You know, that basically either the overbought or the oversold condition, you know, is beginning to uh, turn, right? So that's the, the basic concept of this rocket RSI um, indicator from stocks and commodities. So, all right, so um, so I've got Bloodhound and what I'm gonna demonstrate for you is the back testing part here. And you can see on the right side of my chart, I have Blackbird already loaded up and Blackbird is a strategy. So most of you are probably familiar with indicators, the indicator class in NinjaTrader, but if you wanna do back testing or build a, an automated trading system, um, that's what the strategy class is for. You know, so strategies can can submit, manage, and cancel orders, right? Whereas indicators, you know, they're just basically fancy mathematical formulas. But the strategies is what actually can manage and manipulate orders, in, you know, right? And so that's how you get back testing done. So, right. So Blackbird is the strat is the strategy, and Bloodhound is the indicator portion. So uh, let me open up Blackbird here. And I'm just gonna demonstrate, you know, how you would basically put together um, a basic, you know, system within Blackbird so that you can back test it. And if, if this is your ultimate goal, you can even build a full automated trading system um, or discretionary too. You know, Blackbird doesn't have to be for full automated. You can use it as a um, enhancement to your own discretionary trading as well. So it, it, it kind of, you know, fits, fits all trading styles there. So the first thing we need to do, you know, for some back testing is, you know, we need to tell Blackbird when to get into a trade, right? So that's your, basically your trade signals here. So we're going to use Bloodhound to um, provide those trade signals. And so the next thing I need to do is I just need to load that um, stocks and commodities file into Bloodhound, All right? So there it is. All right, click OK. And then the next thing is I need to select the system here. Um, so now, yeah, I guess I think I've got time here. So uh, within Bloodhound, you know, you do have the ability to make uh, various different iterations of a system here. Right, so you know this this Bloodhound file is you know it's basically the Rocket RSI system, and you can make various kind of tweaks on that system, right? And so you can and you can select between those variations of the Rocket RSI system, or you know whatever system you're building, right? You can make various iterations of that same system here, and you can select between them and uh, back and forth. So. Right. So that's what we're doing here is I'm just telling uh, Blackbird, you know, which system uh, should it be getting its entry signals from, all right? And I'll explain this other one here in just a moment here. So, all right, so there's our, our entry signals set up. And also I do want to turn that off. So, okay, the next step is, you know, to create your order set. You know, you got, obviously you got to tell the, the system, you know, how to, what orders to get into a trade. So for example, the entry order, you know, do you want to use a market entry, a limit entry or a stop entry, right? So for this example, we're just going to do a simple market entry. And then the next step is your profit targets and your stop losses. So, uh, you know, since we really don't know anything about this idea, you know, this rocket RSI idea, I'm just gonna start with a simple two ATR profit target. And I'll also start with 
a two ATR stop loss and a trailing stop loss here. Um, so you can see from this quick list here, there's a bunch of standard kind of default um, standardized stop losses that you can quickly select from, right? So if you want just a simple tick offset, you know, for your stop loss, there's a, a 10 tick one that you can use to get yourself started, you know, and then, and then if you want to adjust it to a 20 tick stop loss, you know, that's pretty easy to do, right? There's an ATR based stop loss. Um, there's even one based on the previous bar high and low prices, right? That you can use. Uh, if you, if you want to use an indicator as your stop loss, there, there's the parabolic SAR, you know, and you could replace the parabolic SAR with whatever other trailing indicator, trailing stop loss indicator you might be using, um, such as like the super trend. Um, I think, yeah, the super trend has become pretty popular within the Ninja Trader ecosystem there as a uh, trailing stop loss indicator. Um, or, and then um, the, uh, the last one here is swing points. You know, maybe you wanna use the swing high, the, you know, the previous swing high or the previous swing low, you know, as kind of like a support resistance level, right? So I'm gonna use a trailing one. So these are all the fixed ones and then there's trailing versions over here. So I'm just gonna use the trailing uh, ATR one and then, I'm going to modify this so that our ratio is a one-to-one. -one. So, right, so the profit target is two ATR and the stop loss is two, two ATR. And this will help me get just kind of a baseline, uh, baseline starting point, you know, for this system here. So, um, again, I'm due to time here. I'm just going to have to whip through this. Um, and I don't have a lot of time to explain what I'm doing, but I'm just modifying the ATR so that the stop loss is a two ATR, right? Got to make it oh. under 15 minutes, Zach. Yeah, I know. I'm rushing. <laughs> no pressure. All right. Um, so there we go, right? So we have our, our trade signals and then we have our order set, right? Our entry order, profit target, and stop loss. So I'm ready to basically do some um, initial back testing here. So I'm just going to click OK. And uh, the next step is you have to reload the chart right, in order to get your strategy to do some back testing. So we're just going to hit, you know, the F5 button here, and that will reload our chart. And in just a few seconds here, we'll get some trade information. So, right, so we can see, you know, all the text um, and the, you know, P&L lines on the chart here. So we know we're good to go. Um, and sometimes, you know, if you're new to building strategies, sometimes what you get you know, so you can see that there's uh, order flags here. And that's because we have an entry signal. And let me mark that, right? So we have a long entry signal, but the market hasn't moved enough. You, we can see it almost hit this profit target, right? But it didn't quite hit that profit target. So this is basically a, a back test that is unfinished, right? So we, we have this entry signal, but the market hasn't moved enough to hit that profit target or hit that stop loss to close out this back tested, um, this last back tested entry signal here. And so that's what we see here. Um, and we can see on the order flags, it says simulated, right? Because this is a back test order. This is not a live order. It's, it's, a, it's an order that needs to be uh, finalized to finish the back test results on it. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to close it out there. So there, something like that. All right, so next, let's take a look at the um, strategy performance here. So again, I just right clicked on the chart, you know, where you go into your data series and indicators, and then there's strategy performance that NinjaTrader generates. And we can see the name of the strategy here, Blackbird, and we're just gonna pull up the historical. So, all right, so here's our first you know, iteration here, and it lost $12,000. So not a very good starting point here. And let's just take a look at the analysis here and take a look at um, right, the equity curve here. So, you know, started off bad, it, you know, it, it, it did have at some point um, last year. Yeah, this is going back, you know, last year. So I have one year a whole year of data on my chart here. 
So, you know, it looks like back last year when the market sold off, you know, due to the COVID uh, pandemic uh, worries, right? The system did pretty good, but then, it, you know, yeah, we can see what happened to it. So, right, that's our first test. So, um, so what do you do next? Well, you know, maybe there's hope for this. Um, maybe um, let's do something crazy. Let's try this without a stop loss. Let's remove that stop loss and see what happens. So I'm just gonna reload the chart again. Click OK. And surprisingly, sometimes removing the stop loss does does improve things. Um, although, you know, honestly, it, it is kind of nervous trading without a stop loss. Um, and that's not what I wanted. I wanted to go back into the strategy performance there and pull that up. And well, that was a bad decision. So now it lost $72,000. All right, so let's, let's not do that. Let's put that stop loss back in there then. So, all right, so let me again, just um, add that stop loss back in there. And while you're doing that, I'm just gonna comment real quickly on two yeah. questions. Well, um, Oh, good. Yeah, John's John's asking. You know, this is uh, he thought this was Ninja Trader. So th this is in fact Ninja Trader. Uh, our our company builds uh, software tools that work with Ninja Trader on top of Ninja Trader. In other words, it's like using Ninja Trader as a, a platform. And um, Ninja Trader is 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 a really amazing trading platform in terms that you can extend it like that. You can actually write your own custom indicators, custom strategies, and so. Um, we've sort of taken that to the next level and built this, uh, this, this generalized strategy that can be configured in um, using, using a mouse button clicks and whatnot and visual, like, a, you know, visual tools instead of having to code. Yeah, yeah, you know, good, good way of putting it. Simply put, you know, Shark Indicators, you know, Bloodhound and Blackbird are just add-on tools for the Ninja Trader platform. All right, so what I'm gonna to try to do next is I went into the money management here and let's just turn on something simple here and enable the max loss for the day here, right? So basically, uh, you know, if, you know, if the system, you know, loses more than $500, you know, Blackbird will just stop trading for the day and then it'll start back up on the, the next day there. So let's just click okay and let's see here. Probably should close that out and let's hit F5 and run that back test again and see what happens here. All right, so let's go back into the performance and see if that helped. Well, yeah, look, that did help a little bit. So now it's only lost $10,000. So, you know, <laughs> it's still losing money, but, you know, it did make an improvement here. Um, so, you know, are we just done with this? You know, maybe, maybe not. You know, maybe the entry signals. You know, m most traders definitely focus on the entry signals, right? And so when, I, you know, when I was rehearsing this, looking at this system here, just kind of looking through it, you know, to see what kind of improvements I could kind of come up with, you know, for this webinar, I noticed that um, it kind of looked, you know, while, you know, when I'm scrolling back through the chart here, right, and, you, you know, as we can see, Bloodhound does make it really easy to kind of eyeball your system, right? So, you know, you can clearly see the entry signals as green or red like that, right? And you can just eyeball it with the chart. You know, you can just get a quick kind of look here. You know, we can quickly see, well, that short's bad, uh, that short is bad, but that long was good. You know, that long, well, hmm, kind of questionable. You know, that short was good. So as I was kind of scanning through and eyeballing all these trades, you know, what I noticed was, you know, instead of the entry signal being when the rocket RSI, you know, switches direction, you know, what if, yeah, let's see if I can, wow. Well, I can't move that, so let me just draw another one. What if we move the entry signals over to the beginning when the rocket RSI 
first hits its maximum value there, right? You know, maybe shifting that signal over, you know, might improve the system there. And so that is what I have in Bloodhound um, already here. So again, just for the sake of saving time here, um, right? That's what these two systems are that I showed you earlier here, right? So we have the original stocks and commodities rocket RSI system. And then we have this modified version here, um, right? And, you know, they're, they're going to look the same as far as the notes here. You know, they pretty much look the same if I flip back and forth here. Um, but the subtle difference is, is that um, this system here, it's going to generate a signal when the rocket RSI, you know, hits its maximum value, right? Um, so now if, if we look at the signals, there we go. Uh, we can see now, let's see if I can move this drawing tool. There we go. Right. So we can see this, the entry signals are now right at the beginning of when the rocket RSI maxes out uh, on the chart there. So let's see what that does for us. You know, maybe, maybe that subtle tweak on your entry signals makes an improvement there. All right, let me just kind of clean up this chart a little bit. Let's close that out. And let's get um, Blackbird open again. And so what I need to do is go into my trade signals here. And I'm going to change from the original Rocket RSI system to this modified version here. All right, and we'll have Blackbird test those entry signals instead. Uh, and I'll just kind of keep everything the same here, right? So um, uh, two ATR trailing stop loss. Um, let's see, in the money management, yeah, I still have the $500 turned on there for the money management. Um, and let's see what happens here. So actually for a comparison, let me pull up the strategy report. Yeah, there we go. So there's our $10,000 loser. And so now let's rerun the back test results here and see what we get. All right, so let's pull up the strategy performance report and see what happens. And voila, you know, what a big difference sometimes tweaking your entry signals can make, right? So I guess, I guess that's, that's why a lot of traders really focus on the energy signals, right? So, you know, we went from negative 10,000 to a positive $14,000. And so now let's take a look at the um, equity curve here, right? Um, and, you know, there we go. You know, ideally, you know, what you'll see on the internet, you know, you know all those statisticians and, and people that actually build auto traders, you know, so I, I do want to clarify that Shark Indicators doesn't build auto traders. You know, we're we're a software company, so we're good at you know building good software, but um, we're not an auto trader building company. And but you know, but if you do watch some of those um, videos out there of guys who do, you know, uh, and, and just guys on you know good statisticians, you know, market statisticians, you know, obviously what you want to see is an equity curve, you know, that's slowly climbing, you know, from the bottom left to the upper right, you know, so this, this one isn't, isn't quite perfect, like what we'd like to see, you know, we did have this big spike last year when the market tanked, you know, so that kind of tells us, or at least it, it, it infers to me that this rocket RSI system does pretty darn good when the market is trending well. Right. Yeah. So I, let me let me just yeah. clarify what Zach was talking about earlier. But we we don't we don't build auto specific auto traders. What we do is build a we we have a platform so you can build the auto trader, right? Because we the way our, our company works is we believe that you know um, rather than trying to force you to trade a certain way or trade a particular system, uh, we we build kind of an empty empty canvas. And you, as the artist, 
paint the canvas, paint the actual artwork, i.e. the trade system. And we provide you the tools so that you can back test and you can, you can try out different things and you can, you can even create a full-blown auto trader out of your own trade ideas. Yeah, so instead of giving you a fish, we would uh, rather Give me a fishing provide rod. you with a <laughs> professional fishing pole, you know, yes. and, and, and uh, a deep, help and a, you to fish. And a, a locator for the fish. <laughs> <laughs> right, sonar. <laughs> right, yeah, sonar. Yeah. All right, so uh, hopefully you guys just noticed I, I turned off the net max loss to see what that does. And uh, look, there we go. So sometimes, you know, capping your system to turn off, you know, at a certain point, you know, doesn't, you know, uh, prevents your system from, you know, being able to finish trading for the rest of the day. Sometimes that's good. Sometimes that's bad. So in this particular case, you know, we can see now um, it's up $22,000, whereas previously, let's pull up that back one. Let's see. Here we go. Um, so we go to the summary. Yeah. So previously, after, you know, adjusting the entry signals, it was up $14,000. And so turning off that money management rule, and now, you know, it was able to make another $8,000. And let's take a look at the analysis now here. Um, so, um, yeah, definitely a much stronger equity curve there, right? So and that's, that's what you want to see. You want to see something that doesn't have too, too many strong dips. We actually have a pretty sharp uh, uh, audience member here, and Abe, who sort of pointed out there's actually no, that there's still a couple losses in there that are over 500. There's a couple of reasons for that, because in Blackbird, you can actually configure how the money manage management rules apply in terms of, you can actually have an exit throughout the trade, and you can have the trade sort of play out and uh, finish off um, uh, when, when you, even though you're, you're, you're past that sort of $500 loss. And so therefore it's possible to actually lose more than 500 for that day because it's letting that trade play out or you can have it exit the or like cut the trade right off um, in the in, in the middle of the trade so that you can guarantee that you're that you're not going to lose that so you Zach has got on the right hand side is enforced during the live trade there's an option there that lets let's they'll t that tells blackbird get me out if I'm if I'm 500 in the middle of the trade don't let it play out you know and so that can be good or bad Right. Yeah. On yeah. Your, your tolerance. Yeah. I, I did just kind of whip through this to give a quick explanation. And, and so, uh, yeah. So this max loss doesn't cut the trade off in the middle of the trade. It waits for the trade to play out. And then if, if, if the, the net, you know, P and L for the day goes below 500, that's when it, that's when it stops. So if you want to stop it, you know, at or near $500, you do need to enable you know, enforce during live trade, but you can't back test with that. So yeah, um, not on a static chart. You know, you there's other ways that NinjaTrader um, allows you to do back testing. So in order to use some kind of a, a live feature like this, you have to back test using market replay. So, but on a simple, you know, back uh, static chart like this, you know, any kind of real time, um, uh, capabilities, you know, you can't do those. You, you can't, those don't, real-time capabilities don't work when you're running on a static chart like this. So, so um, all right. So the next thing that I'm going to do here, uh, actually, let's turn off the net next, is let, let's try the watermark here. So what this does is it, it looks at, you know, your daily profit and loss, which is basically what these options up here do. And the way I set this up is that, you know, if the system is up $500 for the day, then it's gonna turn on the watermark. And then if the system gives back more than 50% here, and oh, turn that back off. So now, so if the system gives back more than 50% of its high watermark, you know, and the high watermark simply put is just, what was the maximum net profit uh, achieved during that trading day? You know, so it tracks what that high net profit was and that becomes the high watermark. And then if 50% of that is given back, then Blackbird will turn itself off 
in order so that you don't trade all that profit away for the rest of the day, right? Um, so it's it's kind of similar, you know, to these, you know, um, net max profit and net max loss, except this is acts kind of more like a stop loss. It's not a stop loss, but it its behavior is like a stop loss, you know, but it's a stop loss for your daily, you know, P and L, you know, um, yeah, your daily P and L, I guess that's kind of the simplest way to put it. So anyways, let's just kind of whip through that and do another quick back test there and see if the, the watermark helps. Yeah, let's minimize that. And um, let's see here. I'm not sure if, if it did take that reload. So let me just reload it one more time, like so. All right, there we go. So let's take a look at the performance reports and see if that helps. Well, eh, you know, it's at 20,000. You know, so it, it, it uh, generated $2,000 less. So, you know, for this particular system, you know, the high watermark didn't really seem to do a whole lot of benefit. But let's take a look at the analysis here. And yeah, you know, this equity curve is pretty much the same as the previous one. Let's pull up that previous one here. Yeah, so here's the one with 22,000. Let's take a look at that. And yeah, you know, these, these pretty much look the same. So um, let's see how much time we got here. Um, yeah, actually we need to get, you know, shoot, I was hoping to show you one, one more thing, you know, um, is the scheduler here. So we do have the, a scheduler here that, you know, you can, um, tell Blackbird, you know, it's only allowed to trade during certain hours. Um, you know, like, so, so you can see, you know, visually you can see what hours Blackbird is allowed to, uh, enter into a trade. And then there's also this force trades to exit, you know, at the end of your, you know, block of time there as well. So, but, um, you know, so we do have that, you know, but I don't have enough time to really kind of go into this. So with that, guys, uh, let me turn it back over to Jeremy and you can wrap things up. All right, Zach, you might share. Um, oh, yep. Let me turn yeah, it off. The sharing. There we go. Okay. There you go. Do Good the enough. handoff here. Okay. All right, so yeah, I'll just wrap up real quick, but um, and then we'll go into answering some questions. Um, this it's clear that there's a, there's quite a few in here that maybe haven't heard of us, and, and this is the first time you've seen us. Um, so again, we do offer two main pieces of software that work with NinjaTrader, and you can think of them as add-ons: uh, Bloodhound and Blackbird. The difference between the two is Bloodhound is an indicator, so uh, it it helps mark up your chart. Um, it's, uh, it's got another use in terms of it. It's also a, a full-blown logic engine, which you can plug those signals in and use them. You can just actually, you can use them by on its own if you like. They're, both of these products are completely standalone as well. Of course, they're nicely integrated, but if you prefer to just have one or the other, uh, that's not a problem either. Um, but you can use those signals to either drive uh, a strategy so that it can trade uh, or you can just trade on like completely discretionarily. Um, Blackbird is the strategy component, uh, which is which which is actually built not just for auto trading, but but for also uh, has a lot of incredible tools for discretionary traders as well. And um, uh, and, and sort of if you think of it as a, a spectrum where you have discretionary trading on one side and auto trading on the other side. Blackbird doesn't sort of force you to go to one side or the other. And in fact, you can switch between auto trading and discretionary trading on the fly and be sort of anywhere in between. You can have it handle the entries and you handle the actual order management for the life of trade, life of the trade, or maybe you want to handle the entries and have it handle the, the actual trade orders itself. Like we weren't able to show some of the capabilities of Blackbird, but there's a lot of things in there that allow you to do really fancy stuff with your your stop losses, your profit targets in terms of uh, moving them and actually trailing them by seeing indicator value uh, or looking at price action and, and having it react in certain ways, almost like a real discretionary trader would. 
And in fact, you can actually wire in logic from the Bloodhound uh, indicator right into Blackbird so that it can drive certain behaviors and trigger the orders to do certain things. Someone asked as well, um, you know, can you handle scale-ins and that sort of thing? Uh, Blackbird is, is, has got a lot of scaling in features as well as risk and reward um, uh, contract scaling features as well. Um, of course, we don't have time to go into all that stuff, but it is built in. It's, uh, so it's, that's why we call it not, not just a trade manager, but also a risk and mo uh, money manager as well. All right, so uh, just some little tips here. Um, our software is, is rather, you know, it's rather extensive. Uh, and so it, it, you know, it's, it's one of those things that's just pretty easy to pick up, but uh, you, you can spend a long time uh, mastering it. So we have uh, a lot of online documentations, uh, online documents and videos that, that, that are available for free, uh, as well as email support that's available for both trial users and, uh, um, and users that have bought the product. Zach also runs these live workshops weekly. Um, he runs, a, 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 I believe it's a Blackbird one on Thursday and a Bloodhound one on Friday, or it might be vice versa. Yeah, it's vice versa. Yeah. Oh, vice Bloodhound's versa. Bloodhound's okay. on Thursday. Yeah, Blackbird's <laughs> on Friday. So there will be a Blackbird workshop tomorrow. Perfect. Yeah. And so, and, and he's been doing those for years. And basically, they're an incredible resource. Uh, customers and prospects, prospect customers love them uh, alike. Like, they, you, you can basically come up with, you have you have your questions and maybe you have a system that you'd like to implement. You don't you, you don't know how. You can just jump into the live workshop. It's free. Ask Zach how to do it, and he'll just show you. Uh, and, and and he often go into incredible detail. Uh, so it's a it's a very valuable resource. They're all re they're also all recorded, and and we have a, a full library of them in the past ones as well. Um, last we also lastly we also have um, partners. Uh, that much like the NinjaTrader ecosystem, we actually work with partners as well uh, that use our software um, to to develop their own trade methodology. And uh, again, that's because our software is designed to work with any kind of uh, any kind of trading methodology. Not it doesn't pigeonhole you into any particular one. I think someone in there asked, you know, does it work with such and such indicator? Um, and and basically. You know, 99% of the time, the answer is yes. Uh, you, oh yes, that's what somebody somebody asked. Can you pipe in say, say entry signals from another indicator other than Bloodhound? And the answer is yes. So if you have an, an indicator that you may be coded or downloaded from somewhere, uh, and and you want to use those ent as entry signals and you want that to drive uh, Blackbird, that's no problem. Um, lastly, uh, we do actually offer a private one-on-one -on -one training. We kind of need that white glove approach. Uh, and, and, and we, we basically give you as many resources as, you, as, we, as we can to, to help you get to your goal of, of, of hitting the ground running with like full trading, uh, full auto trading or discretionary trading, however, you know, however your, whatever your goals are, right? Um, I think the easiest way to sum it up is systems trading. Uh, that's, that's really where, where this software excels. Um, so I do want to, somebody did ask, hey, can, can we get a copy of these, uh, uh, of these uh, templates and this, this trade system that you put together? Now, again, we're not specifically condoning that you trade this particular system, um, but nonetheless, uh, if you do want access to it as a great learning tool, uh, just go to sharkindicators.com slash backtest, and it'll take you to this page. And you can just click this button um, and you just enter your email so that we, we can send it to you. Uh, and also what we're going to do is we're going to offer uh, basically a twice, sorry, the, the, the regular trial period is 30 days to trial our software. We're actually going to double that just for, for those of you that uh, click through this little button here. Uh, so you got 60 days to try out our software, uh, fully featured and whatnot uh, for 60 days. Okay. So that's basically the end of, oh, actually I do have one more slide, I apologize. Uh, I do wanna just quickly touch on um, uh, us as a company. We've been around uh, for quite a while now and uh, uh, we do offer a 100% 100 money, 100 money back guarantee. If for whatever reason you don't like our software, uh, you've tried it 
and it's just not for you, or maybe your circumstances have changed. Um, and we do this because uh, we stand by our software. So we have 30 days to decide, um, you know, to, if, if, if it's just not for you. Uh, and, and we've been doing this pretty much since day one. Okay, so that's, that's basically the end, the real end of our, our uh, presentation. So I think we have about 10 minutes to go through some, some questions, some Q&A here. So Zach, why don't we just... Yeah, let's, let's, back here uh, see what we got here. So um, I'm actually probably going to start at the bottom and work my way up. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, so let's see. Uh, John P is asking, can you use Ranko to develop strategies? Um, you know, other than candles. Well, Ranko's actually technically are candles. Um, candles is just how the how the bar data is displayed. Um, but uh, yeah, basically, um, chart data is chart data. Now, the simple answer is, you know, a bar doesn't matter if it's a candlestick or a um, open high low close, you know, or line on close, you know, a bar is a bar is a bar on a chart. And, you know, so as long as you have a chart, you know, basically an indicator is going to run on that chart. So the same, same concept applies to our tools, you know, Bloodhound, all it needs is just a, a chart with any kind of, you know, bar type on that chart, um, you know, whether it's candlestick or, or something else doesn't matter. Yeah, so you can backtest against any kind of bar type, you know, that you have uh, for Ninja Trader. So. All right, let's see what else we got here. Yeah, I think we had a, a comment or two about the strategy builder. So, yeah, of course, if you haven't, uh, if, you've, if you've ever tried the Ninja Trader strategy builder, it's um, kind of a basic level uh, um, a strategy builder that allows you to choose a couple parameters and whatnot. Um, I, I'll be honest, I haven't uh, uh, spent that much time with it myself. Um, and certainly if, if, you know, if that strategy builder fits your needs, you know, by all means, it's included with NinjaTrader. Uh, but if you want to take it sort of to the next level, uh, we've been around for, for quite some time. And, and in terms of like w just the, the sheer number of um, things that you can do with Blackbird and, and Bloodhound and, and actually the, 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 the savings of time in terms of, like, as I described before, when you're building a strategy, it's often not just build it once and, you know, trade it. It's usually a, a, an iterated process. And you just saw that today where Zach is creating, a, uh, he created a, a strategy and then he tweaked it a little bit, went back to the drawing board, tweaked it a little bit more. And it's really that cycle where we excel in, and, and, and the flexibility and to be able to just see things in real time. He's just switched up, you know, the, the entry signals with a, you know, when the, he had it sort of pre-built, but believe me, it only takes about like 30 seconds for him to switch it up and um, be able to see the results instantly. It's incredible time savings. Uh, not to mention we have just a, a huge number of features that uh, just simply aren't in the strategy builder. Um, so, you know, I encourage you to definitely try both and see which one uh, fits your needs. All right, another question here from uh, Abe, or um, I'm not sure if it's Abe or Abe. Uh, he's asking, do you have anything for scalping? Um, so, you know, again, we don't really build systems, but we do have some uh, training packs for Blackbird. Um, and one of them is a scalping pack. Uh, you know, it basically it's for order management. Um, you know, so it doesn't have entry signals for scalping. Um, you know, again, you know, our tools are, you know, to help you take your ideas and implement them, you know, you know it, into a, a, a semi-automated or you know, an automated system there. Right. Um, yeah, so Jeremy, maybe while I'm answering the next question here, if you want to pull up the um, Blackbird strategy packs that we have. Sure thing. Um, and so the next question here, yeah, we get this quite a bit from Jerry. He's asking, does it work with footprint? Um, I guess you mean indicators. Is it working with footprint indicators, like volume profile indicators? Um, and yes, it does. You know, uh, I know there's a lot of um, third-party uh, volume kind of footprint, volume profile indicators out there. 
And it's a case by case basis. Um, you know, it's really up to that third party developer, you know, whether they want their indicator usable in a system. Um, so uh, so some, uh, some of those indicators can and some of them cannot. Um, for example, to kind of do some name dropping here, um, order flow analytics, um, they have um, actually, I was gonna say recently, but no, last year, um, I think, yeah, last year they got their, their volume profile indicators um, ready for Bloodhound use. Um, and there's just also, there's just orderflow.com. I've heard that their indicators work, yep. Um, and uh, let's see, as far as what's built into NinjaTrader, the cumulative delta um, works and the VWAP. Uh, I think it's the VWAP. Yeah, works as well. Um, but the other order flow indicators in NinjaTrader weren't designed for system um, automation or system development. So those, those don't work uh, within Bloodhound. All right. Um, it's actually a really simple one to answer. Somebody just asks, asks how, can I try the, how can I try the trial version of the software? Just make your way down to the support, um, download the installer, and away you go. So there's a, you got to obviously have NinjaTrader on your system if you don't already have it. And assuming pretty much everyone in this room should have it. If you don't, there's a button for it there. But uh, um, what you're looking for is right here. Yeah, right there. Yeah. All right. Let's see what the next one is. Um... And while you're while you're looking for that, uh, someone was just concerned about like what what kind of video instructions and support there is. I, I sort of touched over that during the, during the webinar. Um, but uh, again, I get, I think probably the most powerful tool uh, to learn this sort of thing uh, is just not only the library of uh, past workshops that 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 we have that goes back many years. But, but as I mentioned before, Zach does run these workshops live and you can just jump in and ask your questions and uh, he can, he can um, handhold you through certain things. Uh, otherwise, we do have a good getting started section for each product. Um, it's Zach, Zach and the team have worked really hard on this, um, on this documentation. It's fantastic. Uh, yeah. and, and hopefully that will help you get off to the races. Yeah. Hey, Jeremy and Zach, we're going to have to start wrapping it up. Um, we're a little over time. So. Yeah. Thank you, Anita. Yeah. <laughs> Appreciate that. Oh, uh, okay. Last, sorry. So get the 60-day free trial. Go to backtest. Sharkinacators.com slash backtest. You should get to this screen here. Just click this button. You'll, you'll sign up with an email. We'll send you a specific link. And uh, and we'll be able to, to help you from there. You also get a copy of the stuff that you saw on this webinar. All right, thank you everybody for joining us today. Yeah, and if you have any questions, just hit us up at either sales at sharkindicators.com if you've got something more technical, if you've been using the software and you wanna, if you've got a, a particular question about how to do something, uh, you, you can use support at sharkindicators.com for that. Thank you, Jack and Zach and Jeremy. I just want to thank you both for joining us and for providing a great presentation. Everyone in attendance here today is going to receive an on-demand recording of today's event, so please keep an eye out for that email. NinjaTrader Ecosystem is pleased to sponsor these weekly vendor events as a value-added service for our clients. If you find value in these events, we hope that you'll attend them on a regular basis. We'd like to remind you the information provided in this was that of Shark Indicators and not of NinjaTraders. All information was for educational purposes and should not be construed as trading advice. Again, we appreciate the time you spend with us. Enjoy the rest of your day, and we hope to see you in future webinars. Happy trading from everyone here at the NinjaTrader ecosystem.